I'm Richard Bravo, and this is my story. I was married quite early. Uh, I was married at the age of 22 years old, and um, that marriage lasted for about seven years. And I guess you could say we had the, the seven-year itch, and uh, we weren't able to make it past that part. But it produced two amazing children who I love and adore, and they really mean everything to me. Fatherhood, um, now grandparenthood, means a lot to me. Uh, one thing that I did when I first became a parent, I had a lot of time to think about it for the first time before my daughter was born. And one thing that I wanted to do, one thing that I thought of almost to the point of even being a little fearful sometimes, I wanted to be able to leave something for her. So I started journaling, just sharing different experiences, um, things that had, had happened to me, things that were important to me, sometimes just talking to her in these letters as though she were actually able to, to listen to what I was, what I was writing. The whole idea was to really have her know what things I valued desire, of course, was that those things would, would stick with her, that they would be a part of her. And I did the same for my son before he was born also. Becoming a, a brand new parent and everything that that entailed, but I can just share that the, the weight of that responsibility was, was quite big. When I went through my divorce earlier on, um, I, I went through a bit of a, a tailspin. I think that's probably a fair way to say it. And I was trying to get myself in order, um, you know, in some relationships that I probably shouldn't have been in that weren't necessarily the best. And coming to a place, thankfully, thank God, coming to a place where um, I really feel like the Lord just kind of got my attention. Having a, a daughter and having a son and, and those relationships, uh, those unique relationships, again, was something very important. My daughter shared a, a really nice picture. She was, she was four years old when her mother and I got divorced and she's now about six years old at, at this time. And every time that she would leave for the week, cause we had them one week on and one week off. And every time that she would leave her and her brother, that first night would always be tough. And my son had a picture of him and myself that he would sleep with every night, but my daughter didn't have one. And there was one particular evening that was really tough for my daughter and she was crying a lot. Her, her mother gave me a call and so I went to pick her up and I brought her back home to the apartment and we sat down and we, we made a picture frame. We painted it um, to daddy with a little heart and, and Ariel and we chose a picture together to put in there. So she now had her own picture to, to go back and, and sleep with too. But just to know the impact that it made on her, you just want to be present with, with your children. I emphasize my daughter just because she was a girl and uh, having been divorced and single for, for a period of time, I wanted to make sure that I still had that, that connection. Fast forward to some later years when she was a young adult, just uh, 20 years old, um, I had the message delivered to me that she was pregnant. And this was completely unexpected. It was out of the blue. It wasn't what she planned. The long story short, you know, maintaining that relationship, being there for her. I'm, I'm grateful for how everything turned out. Um, I've got an amazing granddaughter who's three years old, who will be four years old in uh, just about a month now. I heard something some years ago and I, I share it with them all the time and I love that they bring it back to me and they remind me of it, but it's the, the comment that my ceiling is their floor and everything that I've done, everything that I've gone through, hopefully take that and build on that and not have to go through a number of the same things. So communication with your kid is obviously so important. And now as a grandfather, I look forward to all those moments that I can share with my granddaughter. After having been divorced um, and then gone through this this sort of up and down, getting to a place where I was actually ready and in a healthy place mentally, spiritually, um, to meet a person that I feel the Lord has really just prepared for me has been another amazing part of my life. So I remarried uh, just over two years ago, and now my wife, of course, uh, married right into having a granddaughter, and that's extremely important to her also. So we have that that we can share together. So also with getting remarried, not only do I now have my two children and my granddaughter, but I also have three children through my wife, three beautiful children. So I really look at it now as having five children and, and, and a grandchild. And uh, my relationship continues to grow with my, my stepchildren. Um, they're amazing kids. And I really hope to be able to influence in, in the same way, the same things that I share with my children, what I'm going to leave behind, being genuine and just living out those examples. I still fail. I still drop the ball and I acknowledge that. And I do my very best to be transparent with those things and um, also show that you can pick yourself up and, and keep right on moving on and, and still growing even at my age. Mm -hmm.